Let's try this again. I kind of forgot why I don't go live from my computer. And it's because every time I do, my computer's like, no, the internet sucks. No, everything sucks. No, close every browser you have. Oh, by the way, this isn't working. <laughs> it sabotages me. <laughs> okay. It's Tuesday. It's the portal. I have so many things I want to talk about with you guys today. Um, let's, let's start with the portal a little bit. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Jesse. Let's start with the portal a little bit. A lot of people are like, what is the portal? Why is everybody talking about the portal? Why is this a big deal? Now, if you are someone who is a little bit woo woo like myself and you're into like energy and manifestation and numerology, not only is it Tuesday, which I know isn't actually a two, but it sounds like two, but it's February, which is the second month. It's the 22nd and it's 2022. This two, 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 two will not happen again for another 100 years. And so if you're in this kind of woo woo circle with me and you are into the manifestation and the numerology, then Obviously, you would be like, oh my goodness, that's an awful lot of twos. Something must be happening. And something is happening. There is a portal that is open today because of the two, 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 twos, all the twos, okay? And so what does this mean for you? The, you know, consecutive twos is a representation of balance, it is also a really good time to, you may be feeling it today. It could be the hype on social media, but you also might be feeling like this creative energy kind of like pushing you towards an idea that you've had, um, goals that you have, dreams that you've been thinking of, all of these amazing things, probably for your business, if you're here, I know that's how I roll. Every time something like this happens, I'm like, how does this apply to my business? How does this apply to me making money and my clients making more money? And so for all of you, today is a really great day to take action towards some of your goals. And so for some of you, yeah, I'm going to shameless plug here for some of you. If you are after multiple six figure years, that's a really good sign to apply to the 500k club mastermind with me today, brittanybud.com forward slash 500k club. Um, the sequence of twos is also a really good mirror. So it's showing you um, that your internal and your external worlds need to be similar. They need to look the same. They need to be reflective of each other. And so my tips for you for really optimizing this, this energy and this portal of the twos would be to be very intentional with your thoughts. Feel free to make wishes. I love making wishes. I'm very much one of those people that's still like, if I see a shooting star, I wish on it. Like, First star I see tonight, I wish on it. Like, I'm definitely that person. But, like, make wishes. Set big goals. Be very intentional about what your thoughts are. Again, I'm not one of those people that's like, you have to be high vibe all the time. That's a bunch of bullshit. Like, that's just a crock of bullshit. No one can be high vibe all the time. But be so careful about who you're spending your time with. Be so careful about the conversations that you're having. Um, be cautious of having feelings of um, envy, jealousy, anger, guilt, shame, all those low vibe energies. Be careful to not get into arguments with people that are around you or the people that you love and care about. Um, and also, you know, because it's about the inner and the outer working together, and this is so important when you are manifesting, I actually do a meditation with my 500k club 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 clients say that five times fast where we do a guided meditation into the future and so it's all about seeing that version of yourself 
and then embodying her now. And that's what this portal is calling you to do. It's about embodying your goals now. Even though you don't have them yet, even though you're working towards them, you have to show up as that version of yourself right now. So asking yourself questions like, how is 500K version of me different than the version of me right now? What is she doing differently? How can I be more like her now? And maybe it's like your outfit. Like you've got your hair done, you've got your makeup done, you have your nails done. Today is not the day when it comes to manifesting and optimizing this portal. Today is not the day to be wearing pajamas <laughs> all day long. This is the day where we're dressing up and we are embodying what makes us feel most confident. Like maybe you do feel most confident in your pajamas. I don't know. I know I personally do not feel the most confident when I'm in my pajamas. Um... And so like I'm wearing this cute little blouse tonight and you know, this is, this is, this is what's up. So really making sure that what's going on on your internal, which is the things that you are desiring right now and the things you're working towards right now are matching your external. So you're showing up in that confidence. You're showing up in that belief. You're showing up as that version of yourself. And like I said, for some of you, that may include applying for my high level mastermind. That might be a huge action step that you could be taking to really stretch your self concept and start embodying that half a million dollar version of yourself right now today and watching those blessings and those manifestations come to fruition for you very quickly. Okay. So those are my tips for two, 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 two. I'm probably saying too many twos. I'm not counting them. I'm just saying two. What did you think of them? Which ones resonated with you the most? What are you planning to do for the rest of the day to really optimize this energy? Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about today, because I don't know how many of you guys saw this, but there was this girl in another group. I can't even tell you what group, but she was complaining about her Facebook group today. And on the day of the twos, she shut down her 22,000 person Facebook group. And as someone that makes multiple six figures a year, 100% organically from their Facebook group that only has like almost 5,000 people in it, it did have more. I removed like 1,000 people at the beginning of the year. I am like kind of sick about it. <laughs> Like, I feel a little bit sick. Like, oh, why? Why would you do this? And so, let me have a sip of water. And so her reasoning behind this was that she feels like Facebook is attacking Facebook groups. And her engagement was really low. So, like, time to burn it to the ground. And I think, as a Facebook group expert... This is a terrible idea. <laughs> like she had a lot of viable leads. I have no idea how long she had her group. I have no idea what her group was all about. Um, but, you know, when you're creating your own audience, which all of you should be, and I talk about this in like my Facebook group masterclass. This is the tenant of the 10K formula, which will be opening next week. So if you're a brand newbie coach, or you were trying to grow your audience and have more qualified people in it, keep your eyes peeled for that. That's my 90 day intensive mastermind for like massive growth and foundation building for exploding your audience and getting way more sales out of it. As someone who teaches this stuff, she puts so much time and so much effort into growing that audience to 22,000 people even if she doesn't fully even resonate with what she does anymore, there is no good reason to burn it down. Okay, that group would have been filled with quality leads and easy money. Okay, your engagement's plummeting. Cool. That happens to all of us. But at the end of the day, we're playing Mark Zuckerberg's game. So when he starts playing with the algorithm, we are at the whim, right? But it's also up to us to continue to show up. It's also up to us to keep serving that audience and get that engagement back up. Like it's not, 
rocket science to get your engagement back up. It would have taken her a little bit of intentional effort to try to get conversations going again. And again, even if she went from like weight loss to like knitting, she probably had enough people in there that yeah, she'd lose people, but some of them would probably stay. Like there's no way that she got so far out of her own business that the group wouldn't serve a purpose anymore. It totally would still serve a purpose. And the problem, not only the problem that it's going to cause for her business, but the problem with social media is that we get so caught up in vanity metrics that we forget that on the other side of every single one of those numbers is a human. Like, it's very easy to be like 22,000 people, <clears throat> like, I'm shutting this down. This is stupid. No one's paying attention to me. If you had 22,000 people from that group come to your house and stand in your yard, they'd take up your whole neighborhood. Like, <laughs> you have like a convoy or a riot or a rally or something going on at your house. But we're so quick to see numbers and think they're not big enough, it's not enough, I need more, it should be more, like there are millions of people on this platform, we completely forget that, yeah, that was 22,000 human beings with heartbeats who, maybe the engagement wasn't there, that's her fault, I'm going to blame her because we're all responsible for what we put out, but they still existed in her space they were still warm enough in her space that burning down a group any size group you never have to burn it down you can make tweaks you can make changes a little bit of intentional effort a little bit of elbow grease to get it back to the way you want it to curate it a little differently to get the engagement back up significantly less time than what it took her to build it to that and what it's going to take her now to start basically a whole new audience because let's face it most of you guys in here you come in here you hang out with me and you listen to me you react to my posts we're not facebook friends right like we probably don't follow each other on instagram i have a new instagram so my account's very small now um that's a whole story about like I don't know, my assistant thought I was shadow banned or something and we worked on it for like eight months. It was a mess. So we were just like, fuck it, let's start over. Um, Instagram and Facebook are completely different. We get so forgetful that like, even if one person buys your thing, even if one person hangs out with you while you're live, even if one person registers for your webinar, that's a warm body human being who likes what you have to say enough to want to continue to be in your world. And we're so quick to discredit that and be like, no, you're not enough. You're not enough. Hundreds, thousands, millions. There has to be more and more and more. But it doesn't, right? And so, like, this is a whole other topic. I could go on a whole spiel about, about how size doesn't matter, quality does matter. Like my client Estelle, she went from, like, no people in her group to like 700 people in her group and she does like multiple five figure months regularly from her group as a style coach. It's easy to make money from your audience if you just show up and give value and make compelling offers to work with you. And so like maybe you're frustrated by your group, maybe you don't have a group. Again, the 10k formula is going to be opening next month, which is all about making a lot of money from Facebook groups, your own Facebook group. But friends, like before you burn it down, spend 90 days with me. <laughs> do not burn it down. There are so many other options that do not involve setting 22,000 people free from being in your world. Okay, so that's where we're at. Don't burn it down. That was a terrible idea. So many qualified leads. So many people that resonated with her. Ah, gone. Over. Hopefully, hopefully she sees the light and she she turns it back on. Um, I hope you enjoy the two 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 two.
Desiree says, I love this chat. I feel like I'm a tad bit more productive today. Yes, that is because the creative energy that's going on with the two, 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 twos. Can I also just say that just because it's two, 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 this does not mean, and we're seeing a lot of this, this does not mean that you have to suddenly discount your prices today in hopes to get a sale. Okay. I tell my clients never discount your prices. There's no need. Um, if you are having fun and you're coming from fun to reduce your prices or give some kind of special rate today, do it. But if you're doing it from lack and scarcity and panic and FOMO and oh no, I need to ha hop on this bandwagon of the two two twos, that's not going to work out for you. You're not going to get clients today. And that's not the inner world, outer world embodiment that you're looking for. Trust me. <laughs> that is not the embodiment that's going to get you to half a million dollars, okay? Or a million dollars or five million dollars. We are making choices as CEOs for something our future selves will be like, fuck yeah, smart thinking, boo. Thanks for doing that, right? Not, oh no, you panicked. And we spiraled for a little while after the Tuesday. We don't want that. I don't want that for you. We're not going to do that. Okay, so if you're embodying half a million dollars, the next step for you is the only high-level mastermind you will ever need. And it's with me because I'm the best in the business. The 500K Club. You can go to BrittanyBud.com forward slash 500K Club, all one word, and apply right now. You do not want to miss this. This only comes around twice a year. Another two for you. You want to be in this class. All right, my loves. Have an amazing day. I'll see you all later. Bye.